Hey everybody. Okay, so you guys may remember I posted a video on Saturday of my little mini um, Sephora haul. So I just want to give a quick review, <clears throat> excuse me, of um, two of the products that I purchased and let you guys know what I think about them. So today I'm doing the Carol's Daughter um, hair products that I purchased. First is a Twee Leave-In Conditioner. I like this. Um, I use it in the same way that I used to use my um, my Juices and Berry by Juices and Berries by Oil and Handmade. I'm sorry, and um, I just basically ran out of that. And when I use that, I basically would just spray it on my hair whenever I wanted to. Um, whenever I wash my hair, and then just to like refresh my hair in the mornings. So that's what I started using this for. Um, it's really, really light. I use it after I wash my hair, before I put on a heavier, creamier leave-in, and then I use it in the morning or any time I just want to, like, you know, fluff my hair out, like if I've been sleeping on it or something. So it's a really nice scent, really, really light, fruity scent. And um, I like it because no matter how much I spray on my hair, the scent is never overwhelming to me, which is a good thing. Because um, I've had times where I've used products, and it might be a nice smell, like something sweet or chocolatey or, you know, flat floral or something. But it's just like if you're smelling it constantly throughout the day, like you can't help but start to feel sick. So I like this because... I, I like smell it while I'm spraying it on and the mist is like falling around me but other than that you know I don't smell it somebody might walk by me and say oh your shower smells good but that's it you know so yeah I like it it is like $12.50 and for 8 ounces and I think that juices and berries is $12 um, so it's around pretty much the same price for like the same size I think so yeah it's nice I wouldn't say that you need it in your life, though, you know. Um, if you like that type of product, I say, hey, go out and buy it. If you like your hair to um, smell good, you know, just that extra nice scent, then I say go for it. Um, if you, and if you like, because um, I'm, 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 I'm not crazy about just mixing water with oils. I have a water and oil mixture, but I don't really like it because the spray bottle it brings a lot of water comes out and I just want a light spritz of something so that I can refresh my hair so then the other product that I purchased was the hair milk which is a really really popular um, Carol's Daughter product and um, I like it I used it last night well I think I used it I used it Saturday just putting a little bit on my hair to see what it was like and it was really really light and I had had gel on my hair and it didn't really like turn white or anything so that was really good because I was going out it made my hair feel really really soft so then I used it last night after I put in my Giovanni leave-in I put like a silver dollar amount of this in my hand rubbed it together and massaged it into my hair making sure trying to make sure it got everywhere so that's something I'm gonna have to work on though because my hair is is really really thick so I have to section it so that I can get the product everywhere in my hair but um I liked it I just put a little bit and I didn't put anything else on when I twisted my hair so as I went through each section I smoothed the product through and it made my hair feel really really soft so I like that so I finished twisting it and everything I took it out this morning and um so this is the first day result and this is how I like my twist out to look and this is how it will usually look like, what it will usually look like on like the second or third day if I were to use my shea butter solution because that's heavier. So it makes it come out more defined and I like it to look less defined. So I like this where it's kind of chunky and it still has um, the curls to it, but it's just all, you know, filled in. I don't, my hair is short, so I don't really like it to be really, I like it to be puffy, like a little cotton ball or, or something I don't know but I like it I, I like I like a little bit of frizz when I wear my hair in a twist out so it's like puffier like I said it's like a chunky a chunky little fro I like that you can see it looks chunkier so yes I like it for that reason so if you want your twist out to come out really really defined you might want to use something else along with this or I don't know use a little bit more um, I wouldn't use too much though because it might make your hair feel really, really, really 
greasy and oily and you don't want that so I also put a little bit more on today just because it is really light just to add a little bit more moisture and my hair still doesn't feel greasy it just looks really really nice it has a nice um, sheen to it which you probably you can't you can't see that but um it looks nice on my hair oh and look you kind of see my hair color my hair is naturally like red reddish brown color anyway that's besides the point I really really like it though I can't remember how much this cost I think I think I read somewhere it's like $18. I just wanted to try it, so I picked it up, you know. As long as it's not like over $20, I was fine with that. Um, and as long as you're not using too much, then you're fine. Now, if you have longer hair, you're probably going to have to use a little bit more. It all, it all depends on how you want to use it, though. How you're going to use it, how thick or fine or coarse your hair is. But I like it, so I'll probably buy it again because... Um, the only other like creamy product besides my Giovanni leave-in, and this I feel like adds more moisture than G the Giovanni leave-in, is my shea butter uh, mixture, and that's a little bit heavier, so I like I like that this is a little bit looser and everything like that. So, yep, that's what I think of the product, and this is my first time trying this. I know a lot of people. Um, tried this when Carol's daughter first started and they weren't at Sephora and they didn't have people tampering with um, their products and it was probably different um, because they added you know chemical preservatives and stuff to help it last you know on the shelf so I, I still like it I still like it and I think that this would also work well for women with um, relaxed hair because it is like and I know when my hair was still straight and I like it to be big and fluffy. I didn't like it to be weighed down with like a greasy product. So I feel like you could like use this as like a blow drying cream or something. And it probably smooth your hair out really, really nicely. And give it moisture and not have it being dry but not greasy either. If you don't use too much. And really quickly, I'm wearing my Sephora lashes, the wispy ones. I don't think they work well with people like me for people like me though because I have um I have pretty that my lashes are naturally long and thick and these fake lashes are really really thin and even when I put mascara on you can still see the difference so um, they don't blend well for me but they might work well for someone who has shorter lashes that are thinner maybe lighter too um and the rest of my makeup on my eyes I have sumptuous olive on the lid and then I have humid on the outer corner going into the crease and some light eyeshadow one of them from the Hello Kitty thingies and then I have a little gorgeous gold under there and on my lips I just have made with love lipstick and I think that came out with color craft and over it I have power supply plush glass which is one of my favorite lip, lip glosses right now and then I have my I think it's redhead MSF and an unset powder on my face that is it that is it um, so I'll probably be, be doing a review on the Clinique three-step um, base system that I also purchased. I really like it so far, but I'll let you guys know what I think because I just want to give it a few more days maybe and see what it can do for my skin. But that is what I thought of the Carol's Daughter products. I really like the hair milk and maybe I'll try some of the other things. I hear Sephora is really good at um, giving you free samples, so I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of that. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I hope everybody has a good week. My day started off kind of rough. I ended up missing school because I was not feeling good at all earlier today. But I feel much better, so I can go to work tomorrow and then go to school the next day. All right, so I'll talk to you all later. I don't think there's anything else I need to say. <gasps> oh, except for the, that the VMAs were, <laughs> were good and oh so bad at the same time. That, that's all I'm going to say. What what the heck was little mama doing? I don't know. What was she doing? I, I need to hear something from her. As to, as we already heard from Kanye, so let's just let that blow over and be done with. But what was little mama thinking? <laughs> Hilarious. All right, I'm out. Bye.